Hey guys, it's uh, Airsoft Wolverines. I'm the man that doesn't lie about the gun that he's going to review next. And so, today we have the um, Heckler & Koch USP-45. Um, very nice gun. I can shoot somewhere around the 300 FPS range. Can't tell with that, I'll have a Kroner. Need to get that too. Um, your magazine release is ambidextrous. See, yeah, I just did that. It's a heavy magazine. I think it has some weight in there. Doesn't say anything on the bottom. Just a. And it's not a button. Just screws. Screw. And then you're just putting your BBs there. Somewhere around the 20, 20s of the BBs in there. You just go like, oh, reload and don't have an extra magazine. Man, I reload five minutes later. Alright. Okay. One of the most common things that I will do whenever I'm shooting this thing is I will go like this and so I go like this and so whenever this happens all the BBs will fly out because right here that is where the um, like BB releases and so whenever they hit that I just have a common thing of going, pushing it down, so then all of the BBs will fly out, and then I have to reload like all 30 BBs. No, so it's about 30 BBs. Okay, this is not a slide lock, and no, it was not a slide lock in the beginning. I'm not even going to do it, but um, there's a pin on this side, and when you push this in, this comes out, see so like... And if you pull this out, I had to fix mine, but the, um, ah, sorry guys, something just really hurt. Um, the spring that for this going back to make it go forward falls out, the top slide comes off, and then one other thing I don't remember, and it's really bad, I don't even want to do a video of how to fix it, because maybe I will. If one of you guys really urgently need it, I will do a video. But if I break mine, I'll be really mad. Um, so the safety is right here. It's a little weird. You can cock back the hammer first. I think it's on the real thing. And then you can put it down. Up. And you can't cock it. can't pull the trigger. You just push it down. Oh, and if you're one of those guys that is looking for um, a gun for like a movie or something, or a little action film, I would recommend this even to Friday W. If you just want another one of the springers. It's really cool because the hammer goes back. I think you can actually do the, some editing where you Photoshop this part and have it sliding back and stuff. But, uh, ooh, that failed. Yeah. That's true, too. Oh, it's it's really a weird cocking, but um, you know, stay forward, pull trigger. Sounds like one of my older pistols that I had. Yep. Mm. Does have a magnet thing right here? I don't know if there's a. So thank you buy, but it does have tactical rails from here to here. Both sides, so you can put a laser or something. It does have this thing, so if it's like jammed, get, get your thumbs right there and pull it out. Like I said, it's a weighted clip. Um, no, 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 no. This have right here. Right here, some grips. If you get like mud or water on it, you still be able to grip it. The grips right here, so you can just go. Yeah. Oh, I think that's about it, you guys. Right. Next review will be of the.
Stinger P36. P. P36? Yes. From Crossman. Okay, I'll do that video on the next. Alright, so, um, I will see you guys later.